how do you do? It's uh, Nick here, as per usual, and we're back on Horace. This is Horace in the Mystic Woods, which is a homebrew, published by Bob Smith, or produced by Bob Smith in 2010. Uh, it's based on an older game from 1995, which didn't come out on the Spectrum, but the Scion 3 series of Palm Top Machines by Michael Ware. Once upon a time, there was a little creature known as, well, Horace. He's got lost in the woods, and he must escape by collecting stars and, and finding his way out. But there's 64 terrible areas, so 64 levels based on one screen, and we must escape. Be interested to see how this plays. Uh, last week we looked at Horace Goes to the Tower by the Mojon Twins in 2011, which is a brilliant Horace game. It was a platformer, which the other Horace games wasn't. The um, old ones by Sinclair Research or Melbourne House, I should say. And um, yeah, it was it was really really good. I was really impressed with that. So interested to see what this is like. The music is fantastic so far. There is Horace. Right, we're going to go on the joystick. It's the only Horace game I know which doesn't start off with that, um, well, alternating sound at the start, which I'm sure you'll know. Based on Science Software, uh, their game from 1995, but Bob Smith said he wanted to bring this game back to its um, spiritual home, the ZX Spectrum, so well done him. Uh, beautiful graphics and that font going across the top, really love that. Uh, presentation at the moment looks absolutely amazing. You can start on the start level, or once you progress to a certain distance, you can play on the last level that you died on. So that's quite good, in particular because there's 64 big levels. So here we go. Now immediately, look at that sound as he jumps. That's Manic Miner, isn't it? So immediately it doesn't feel like a Horus game. In the, You have to collect stars and then get to the exit, a bit like Manic Miner again. So it's like a merge, it's a fuse, it's like Manic Miner and Horus and the spiders together. So it's like, um, yeah, Manic Horace maybe this should have been called. Great graphics on the word score there. But let's see how this plays going further. Uh, first level is supposed to be easy, it's called Starting Easy. And, and we duck, died by crashing into a ghost there. So you won't see any other graphics borrowed from the other Horace games apart from Horace himself. Uh, Horace Goes to the Tower borrowed ones from Hungry Horace and also Horace and the Spiders. This tries to keep original, but yeah, Manic Miner versus Horace, I'm sure you can see it. And the concept's the same as Manic Miner as well, although there's no timer in this, there's no air running down. You can see a couple of Horaces which represent your lives going backward and forward, like Manic Miner as well. So we need to jump to the gateway, we've collected all the stars, and we should be there to level 2. Good, good, good. Presentation on this is really brilliant. Well done, Bob Smith. Done a really good job. So, level two. Right, so let's get an eye out here. So those stars across the top on that little ledge there and some across the bottom next to that traffic cone. Horace can fall down great distances and not take any um, uh, hits. He does bounce off stage. Oh dear, he does bounce off things if he can't make it. So just bumping into the enemies will lose you your lives. This is called the last of the three. Hmm. Right, can you find a way to do it? It's all a question of solving it, what's the best ones to jump on, the ledges. And once you've done that, you're there. Most memorable for me, a stage like this on Manic Miner, was the oil refinery, which is stage four. Good shading on the ledges there, they don't look square. Bit of inertia, uh, which is carried over from the other Horace games, which is good to see. No in-game music, but I uh, forgive it for that. This is the 48k version, there is a, I think there's a 128k version. Might be music in that one, I'm not sure. But I play the 48k versions because I own a 48k and I want to recreate that as much as I can. It's all about creating a sense of nostalgia as well, 8-bit stuff. Hopefully with the Spectrum next there'll be some other Horace games to follow too. But the classics are always going to be um, held fondly for me because they're of an era. Hungry Horace, which is a Pac-Man clone. Horace Goes Scheme, which is over two levels, the first bit being a Frogger clone when you went across traffic, and then Horace and the Spiders over three different uh, levels there. And the last level, the Spiders level on the spider web, was absolute classic retro. Can we get off level two here? Well, it's in the balance. If you've completed all 64 levels of this, then well done. It doesn't give any passwords, but if you do it all on one outing, it will let you restart on the level that you died on. But if you reset the game, reload it, you have to start from the beginning again. No level editors as far as I'm aware. 
I don't know how accurate this is to the original game on the Sign 3 series of palm top machines. If you do, then let me know. Horace is in white again like he was in Horace Goes to the Tower. I prefer seeing him in green or dark blue, but he does stand out here. I'm not sure if the Horace graphics is exactly the same. It's very similar. That jump graphic is different though, and we've done stage two. Right, it's gonna get difficult in a minute, I'm sure. Stage three, there's some telephones. They're not quite like um, wacky telephones from Manic Miner, but very similar. Oh, the Attack of the Mutant Telephones, was it? Something like that. Right, so that's one star. Have you checked where we need to go? You can jump on the light fittings to get to the stars. Ah, and that's not how you do it. On the way to bed, this is. On the way to bed, he's still got 61 levels to go. I think that's my last life. Good music. Well done, Bob Smith. And Michael Ware done the original in 95. If you know of any other Horace homebrews, let me know, and I'm sure to check them out. But these two I've looked at so far are very high quality. Horace Goes to the Tower, Mojon Twins, Horace in the Mystic Woods, Bob Smith from a conversion original game, Michael Ware. Doesn't quite feel like a Horace game, this, but it's still good in its own right. Um, good fades from stage, from screen to screen, and that font across the top is amazing. Bit of skill, a lot of love involved in this. Horace wearing dark glasses there and that bit. We'll have a few goes on this, see if I can get a few stages done at least, but I'll be coming back to this in my spare time. If you've got an emulator, uh, then by all means track this down. Three lives left. Oh, we've done that wrong. I do like that R bit there. How have they done that? Right, Horace. I don't know how to get these stars. We'll work it out in the end. Not like that. So three lives, it's not overly generous. I would like maybe eight lives. Oh dear, that's not how you do it. I'd like maybe eight lives, like in Jet Set Willy, where they're all dancing across the bottom, but they didn't want to copy it completely, I guess. We might do a bit of editing here. If I, if I keep dying very quickly, I'll edit a few down. Right, come on, let's get off level three. On the way to bed, as the three Horaces run backward and forward. I seem to recall there being another homebrew of a Horace based around like a Christmassy theme. I'm not sure about that. If there is, let me know and I might have a look at that maybe around Christmas. It's wrong to have a look at a Christmas game midway through the year. Or we're just past midway through the year, aren't we? About a month and a half past. So I need to jump, get across the other side, jump on the light fittings and get to the rest of those stars. But I think I've cracked this. Uh, the, the stars nearer the gateway were the tricky ones, but I'm um, doing a long jump from there. I've got to them. Don't really want to bounce off anything. Just a normal steady jump. The length of the jump is determined by how quick Horace is running. I just want to do a straight one, not slide off with the inertia. Can I do this all in one? Yeah, I think so. That's it. It can fall right down there. Manic Miner and Jet Set Willy, if they fell down a distance, they would die. Horace has got more stronger legs. Come on. Don't mess this up now. Maybe take a run up. Oh, that's okay, right. Good, to, good that there's no timing, though. Didn't run out of time. Diddly diddly dee. If you do do it quick, they'll get bonus points. Stage four, time for a change. Right, so there's two clocks. There are power-ups in this game, and the first one you can see is a clock, a yellow circle on the right, and that stops your enemies for a brief period of time. Other power-ups later on in the game are Super Horace for limited invincibility, a bomb which blows up platforms, I think that red thing might be a bomb further up, uh, bricks to build extra platforms, oh dear, and there's presents you can, you can uh, collect for bonus points. But a really nice game this, it's quite addictive isn't it? I'm, um, I'm liking it already. It's a great game. Yeah, it's a brilliant game. I wasn't sure about it first of all when I started the review because I was thinking this is just a Manic Miner, but it is a game in its own right. Horace and Manic Miner together. I, yeah, I don't think that's the way to go. I think we need to drop back down because when I got the bomb, it blew up the wall. Oops, it blew up the wall below. Oh, my, my goes are going quite quickly here, aren't they? Time for editing, but I will complete this stage even if it takes me an hour and we edit it down. Horry. Right. This is it. This is going to be the one. There's a present there. For extra points. Right, that stopped that clock in its tracks. Oh, but that's a boo-boo. I don't think I can get out of here once... Yeah, that's, that's a muck-up. Well done. Oh, this could be an edit. 
Right, present. Trial and error, trial and error. More error than trial. Right, we'll wait for that yellow clock to get further away, then we'll freeze it once it's past there. Freeze. Next. Now the bomb blows up the wall, and we need to go back this way and avoid those pink goat skull things, or magenta skull things. Probably can drop down there, good. Clean jump on the width there. Four more stars over the other side, which we now get, oh that's close, we now get to because the wall's gone. That clock's slowly coming down, but not enough to kill us. It's all looking good for Mr. Horace. Yes, boom, boom. Good, stage five of 64. And this is called cloud bursting. Hmm, it's getting a bit trickier now. So, there's rain in the air. Uh, those pink ledges, I'm not sure they die. Can they, no, do they kill us or can we land on them? We'll soon find out. Right, what's the correct path here? Hmm, it's going to take more than one go. There's two sort of like a paisley pattern things going up and down. Nice that they're animated. Come on, Horace. He's outlined in black there, so we can see him again. Oh, they were ledges, those pink things, so that's handy, right. Three stars to get. Can we jump from here? Yes. Yeah, there's two I've missed right down the other side. I maybe should have got them first. Oh, it's like a puzzle game as well, this. Right, two left. Yeah, I can't jump over out the screen over that ledge. No, you just bounce off. Not too many things to kill you on the kill you on these early stages. I'm quite keen to see what stage 64 looks like. I'm sure there's a poke I can put in to jump to there, but uh, this is just a short review of Horus in the Mystic Woods. We're above the Mystic Woods at the moment. We're in the clouds. Quit your daydreaming, Melonhead. So score 1,224. I can't say any bad things about this game. It's really nicely done. The sounds are good. I love I love Horace's footsteps. The the fonts are good. The stages are well thought out. The ones I've seen so far, anyway. The Horace is dancing down the bottom, letting you know how many lives you've got. Are good. Good stuff. Brilliant, brilliant game. Get hold of a copy of this one. So that's how you do that. Then you get those to start off with. Slight colour clash sometimes when he jumps on certain levels. Not this level so much. The last one was a bit more. As you can see, this is only sort of like first or second go of this really, and I'm quickly getting the hang of it. It's drawing me in, like all the Horus games did. More technical than the original first three Horus games, but good. Done well with the 48k, the gate's unlocked. Just get there and do not die. Oops, was, mm, can I make the jump? I think I can, can't I? Jump, Horus, oops. I think that is the way to go though. Don't slide off now. You could probably fall down the bottom of the screen here, but it looks like uh, there's some blue ground. These woods are very mystic. Maybe a run-up might be good, Horace. He's a goofy. He's a goofy man. Maybe I can go across the top. Not... Yeah, across the top might be it. Can I make this jump? Make sure that paisley thing is not going to get in the way. Boom. Yes, yes. That's the way to go, surely. Yay. Diddly diddly dee. Stage 6, the Pyramids of Doom. Hmm, right, we've got moving ledges this time. Uh, yeah, cool, I've almost been playing this for a quarter of an hour. Well, longer probably. No, no I mean, that's long, long quarter of an hour, but half an hour. And I've died again. Du, 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 du. Pyramids of Doom. So we showed you six stages of 64. That's not bad going, is it really? Game over. I love Horace so much. And these, these homebrews I've done this week and last week I reviewed add extra to it. So instead of three Horace games I'm aware of, I'm now aware of five. Hope you liked having a look at that one. That was a rather splendid Horace in the Mystic Woods. Lots to like about this. Um, the Spectrum 48K, uh, written by Bob Smith in 2010, based on the original game from 1995 uh, by Michael Ware on the Cyan 3 palm-top machines. 
Thanks for watching that one as always. If you've got any comments about this game, any other homebrews, or the Spectrum in general, then please put that below. I always love reading your comments. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.